I'm Olga Palivaya, I'm a project manager at TSB, and I want to welcome all of you today on our seminar, Digital Transformation Concept of to Execution. Sorry, a little bit nervous, because it's our first seminar in series, and I hope it will be interesting for all of you and helpful, and hope to see you again on our future seminars. Uh, please ask your questions after each session or during the sessions using uh, Twitter. TSB Seminar is our hashtag. All your questions will be pop up on the screen. Uh, we will read it and answer. So, we are here to put a dent in the universe. Otherwise, why else even be here? Probably you recognize this quote of uh, Steve Jobs. And I want to say that we were inspired by his passion um, and strategy of digital transformation. So today we will give him a small tribute, as well as we'll show some short videos of other digital transformation leaders. And in our main program, uh, you can look at the brochures which are on your table. Uh, we'll have uh, three presenters. Two of them will be before lunch, uh, then we'll have a short break to grab some food and we'll have a third uh, lunch presenter. And we want to start with the welcoming part and I want to invite on this little stage uh, Jim Turner, the president of and CEO of TSB, uh, hosting, host of this seminar. Okay, Jim, welcome. So first of all, I want to thank everybody for uh, making the time to be here today. Um, some housekeeping, uh, make sure our volumes on our phones are turned down so uh, we don't interrupt everybody and I don't interrupt myself. Um, thank you. Okay, uh, bathrooms are kind of hard to find. If you walk back out this door out here, you'll do like a U-turn. And then when you do the U-turn, you see a gold sign that says restrooms are over here. And uh, can everybody hear me f okay? Yep. Okay, so we got uh, several speakers. We do want to keep it very interactive. Uh, if you have questions, uh, definitely use hashtag uh, Tisby Seminar or uh, just raise your hand. Keep it real casual and uh, uh, better the conversation, the better uh, everybody will have some time to, to get things going. So the main reason I'm here is just to get your brain working. So we're going to do a little brain teaser. You can grab a piece of paper and a pen. This is, uh, I would say, sixth grade level brain teasers, so everybody has to get these. <laughs> Put the pressure on. So just to get the brains working, uh, and just write your answer down, then I'll give you the answer on the next page. So a man stands on the side of the river, his dog's on the other side. The man calls his dog, who immediately crosses the river without getting wet, without using a bridge or a boat. How did he do this? Okay, number two, see a lot of people already know these, they're not even writing them down, they got them in their head. The sundial has the fewest moving parts of any timepiece. Which has the most moving parts? And number three, what is unusual about the following words? Revive, banana, grammar, voodoo, assess, assess, potato, dresser, and uneven. And one hint, it's something they all do together. We need more coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Rockstar energy drinks, anyone? So what makes uh, this number unique? 8549-176-320. And we're five. In 1990, a person is 15 years old. In 1995, that same person is 10 years old. How can this be? I want to know that answer. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> it took me, even after I saw the answer, how, how does that work? And I had to think about it for a little bit, but it's right. Okay, and the last one uh, you're staying in a hallway with uh, three light switches on the wall. 
So each switch turns on a different lamp inside a closed room. You can't see inside the room and you cannot open the door except to enter the room. You can enter the room only once and when you do, all the lamps must be turned off. How can you tell which switch turns on which lamp? <laughs> No, no echo, no echo included in this uh, in this equation. I was just trying it out. All right. So here's the answers. So the first one, the river was frozen. That's probably the easiest one. I thought he jumped. You thought he jumped? Short part of the river. It's a tiny river. Uh, the second one is the timepiece with the most working parts is the hourglass. Uh, the third one is if you take the first letter of each of those words, move it to the end, all of those words say the same thing the other direction. So every one of them, you flip it over. I should see that. So move the R to, from revive to the end, it's revive, banana, banana, grammar, grammar, voodoo, voodoo. Okay, so. Just so you can see it. Um, so the third one is this, uh, the number zero to nine in alphabetical order. That's all, it's a simple thing. Sometimes a simple thing is what it is. Uh, the fifth one, the person's born in 2005 BC. <laughs> so they were going backwards in age. Um, and then the last one, you turn on the right switch, leave it on for two minutes. After two minutes, you turn on the middle switch and leave it on for only one minute. And when the minute's up, you turn off both switches, you enter the room, one light bulb is hot, one light bulb is warm, one light bulb is cold. So that's how you can tell the difference in the three. Okay, so uh, this one we'll do real quick. Give you two minutes. You got to <laughs> work on the frontal lobe of your vision to get you woke up. So we're going to see what's the differences between the two images. How many can you find? We'll do like two, maybe, yeah, maybe a little more than a minute just to see how many you can count up. I hear seven. He might got more than seven. Eight. 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 Oh, nine. Okay. Okay, this table is winning. <laughs> <laughs> There's a. There's water and coffee at the back of the room. Just help yourself. Where are we at? Twelve. Twelve. All right. So there's a fifteen. So we're close. That was pretty good. So the hairpin, the mountain pick, the lollipop, and the cat. The white socks on the girl, one sock on one picture, no socks on the other one. Curtains, the clock, the banana, cookies, icing, all those, all those things were all different um, in the figure. So this is the last one, <clears throat> most difficult, but we'll go through it very quickly. It's the stress test for people that are in the digital transformation process. So the picture below has, uh, was used in a case study for uh, testing stress levels at St. Mary's Hospital. Look at both dolphins jumping out of the water. The doffings are identical. A closely monitored scientific study revealed that in spite of the fact that the doffings are identical, a person under stress would find differences between the two doffings. The more differences a person finds between the two doffings, the more stress that person is experiencing. Look at the photograph, and if you find more than two differences, you may want to go on a vacation, or you may need a massage. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm going on vacation. <laughs> so, I don't see a difference. 
and turn it back over to Olga. <laughs> so hopefully that got us woke up and ready for the rest of the rest of the meeting. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Jim. I think I'm ready for vacation also, <laughs> and I will go in three days. <laughs> okay, what is a digital trans transfer transfer? Sorry, transformation or DX in a short uh, way. I, I want uh, Alexander Berger or Sasha uh, will help us to introduce and make us in the focus. Thank you, Olga. <laughs> Good morning. So Jim has made your brains work. I will be here to make your hands work now. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, thank you for coming. We understand that you could have been in many different places, and uh, last but not least at work, <laughs> but appreciate you taking a little time to have fun with us and talk about DX. Who, raise your hands if you associate yourself with a company, or in the past associate yourself with a company who is a disruptor. Raise your hands. All right, thanks. Now. Raise your hands if you think the company you are associated with may be disrupted by somebody else. Okay. So I know the headcount. We have about 40 people. And I added together we have about 15, no, probably 20 hands. So 20 people here probably working for Northridge Country Club. <laughs> <laughs> now let's do it again. Who, th again, first question. Think again. Does your company position as a disruptor? Raise your hand. Thank you. Disruptee? OK. So this is a tricky question, not easy to answer. But we believe it's one or the other or both. But I mean, it's really difficult to find a business who is not part of digital transformation now or in the nearest future. So that's why we decided we we're going to speak about this and uh, bring our vision of this seminar. The seminar is to unify local business and community leaders, executives, and business stakeholders to facilitate digital transformation in North Carolina. We, it's going to be a series of seminars. Please follow us, and we will be setting up more events like that. We, want to, we are passionate about this, and we also have a... <clears throat> responsibility as a technology company, that's why we are hosting this event. Its responsibility is to talk about DX, teach about DX, and get the minds together. Um, I'm going to give my own definition, but then I'm going to give the microphone to real speakers, and they're going to do much deeper definitions of DX. But this is how we see it. Digital transformation is a change associated with the application of digital technology in all aspects of human society. And the transformation stage means that digital usages inherently enable new types of innovation and creativity in a particular domain, rather than simply enhance and support the traditional methods. So digital transformation. Maybe we are not part of it. Maybe it's not needed, right? Maybe some domains are exempt. I had a conversation with a <coughs> gentleman who is big in real estate. And he said, well, about a couple of years ago, he said, that's not about us. Our business is going to stay forever. Well, but look at Zillow, look at other things, right? As a matter of fact, I challenge each of you, find, name one business, one business industry, one sector, which is exempt of DX. And let's argue, because it's a very difficult task. What DX is, Business leaders must challenge themselves to reinvent the organization, the process, or the business they operate. It's nothing less than reinvent the business. What we think digital transformation is not. And if you disagree with me, I mean, I'm open. This is my definition. If you identify yourself with we are working on the new app, we not necessarily call it as DX. You know, this is business as usual. Oh, I heard that before. Ten years into the Oracle upgrade, or <laughs> is it is it DX, guys? No. <laughs> we 
we are using a digital sensor. Wow, that's a cool. Well, maybe it's, it's a good idea. Andrew is laughing, thank you. Okay. Because we think it does not really reinvent your business as a digital service for your clients. And how do we know when digital transformation <laughs> happens and when we, what, what part of it we are in, right? That's a difficult question. We're going to address this in, in depth, right? So, a few numbers. Only, and I, I, I only took them from the internet, guys, so if one of them is wrong, <laughs> don't kill me for it. It's just it's what, what, what the sources on the internet think about this. 27% of today's businesses have a coherent digital strategy that sets out how the firm will create customer value as a digital business. So one quarter have a meaningful thought about this. Isn't this something? I think it's less than that. Yeah, I think it's less than that too, right? So 125,000 large organizations are launching digital business initiatives now per Gartner. I believe it. CEOs expect their digital revenue to increase by more than 80% by year 20. The percentage of enterprises creating advanced digital transformation initiatives will more than double by 2020 from today's 22% to almost 50%. How does that sound? So again, this is my take on this. And um, there are three big whales digital transformation as it's described today stands on. It's a big data, Internet of Things, and artificial intelligence. And to finalize in my speech, I say I will throw a couple of strategic predictions about digital transformation. In 16, CEOs will make a concentrated effort to integrate the various digital initiatives across the business and create a clear digital vision that shows how the business will deliver revenue generating digital experiences. B2B industries will start to close the digital gap with their B2C peers, and apparently B2C is ahead in DX, as they too are conf confronting rapidly rising customer expectations. So customer expectations is what, in a sense, driving a lot of DX. We expect more and companies try to follow. By the year 18, 67% of the CEOs of global 2000 enterprises will have digital transformation at the center of their corporate strategy. It's moving from something nice to have to the middle. Well, back to lovely Olga. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you.